Hey guys, it's a cold, frosty morning out here, and we have a job to do. It's not going to be a fun project. No motorcycles, no turbo trucks, no nothing like that. But this trailer right here needs repair. That's some metal I bought. Need to get a tailgate back here where it's been ripped off. We'll put some hinges on there, and then that expanded metal will go on these open sides to close them up. First step on our trailer repair, I need to get this piece put in, and this is what I have for that right here. It's not exactly the same, but it's good. And I just got to go around and beat this metal straight here, and that brace right there is a little bit bent, and I'll get that fixed up too. Everything's welded up, including the expanded metal there, down through there. Next is the hinges. This is like a piece of round bar, three-quarter, I think, and then pipe that slips over it. Let me cut this up, and I'll show you how our hinges are going to work. This is basically our hinge. What we have is three pieces of pipe and one piece of solid steel. This will be welded to the tailgate. These two will be welded to the trailer. You need to leave about a quarter of an inch, I would say, in between them. Just because trailers get bent up and stuff, you don't want them binding. You want everything to work free, nice and loose. Thought I'd better show you guys. I used the whole long straight rod just to keep everything nice and straight here. But then I'm going to switch over to these smaller pins. So here it is, just like that. And what we'll have is just a pin to slide through there, like so. There's our tailgate, real simple design. All I did was weld two pieces of angle iron on each end. And you need to do this kind of while it's on the trailer. You want to make sure everything's straight and matches your trailer. Maybe your trailer's not, you know, square. Just in case it's not, that's the way I would do it anyways. There's a pocket right here, basically, on the inside now, where I'm going to put my expanded metal, and then I'm going to put pieces of angle iron over top of that. There's three braces to help support this. I'll just set them evenly down through there probably in between these uh, bushings, hinges, and then one in the middle. Tacking this expanded metal to the brace makes it a lot stronger because you got a shorter distance. You're only going from here to there, and it's welded, so it's really strong like that. It's not all floppy and loose. I made this little piece here, see? You see where I'm going with this? I'll weld that to that. We'll put a pin through here. Our pins, all I did was take a piece of this pipe and weld it to the end for a stop. And then I got cotter pins here. I drilled a hole and I'll drop it in there. You could use a hairpin or whatever you want to use. When it's on there, see, it'll, it'll turn with the pin. And raise it up. Snap our, snap our pin in there, 
and I've got one for each side. Tailgate's basically done. And I don't know who noticed, but really, I kind of welded this on the wrong side, so I went back around. Oh, stumbling. And welded it on this side. That way it wouldn't push out. I just thought it was better to be welded to the braces on that side. Next is to fill these sides in with this metal right here. It's the next day and I left off by just welding up these little plates here on the trailer. There's one right there. Can you see it? And then there's two in the front. I also put a piece of angle iron here in the very front where the two corners meet. The reason I did all of this stuff is just to where the seams meet. Like, you know, there's two different pieces, one there and one here. So I just put a plate over the top of that seam. I don't know, so nothing catches on it. I just thought it'd be a little nicer. The jack's all bent up. I got a new one. I'm just going to cut it off and weld a new one on. I think it'd be faster than trying to bend that back. Today, not so much welding, just a little bit. So I'm going to get a wood stove fire going in here and pull this trailer inside where we can work where it's warm. I need to pack the wheel bearings, maybe check the lights and stuff like that. Let's see if the old tractor will start. And yes, I'm going to have to use some assistance. I don't like using it either, guys. I know what you're thinking. I'm not big on starter fluid either. Got to reach up in here. Here we go. Sorry. And I just give it a little snort. A very little shot. Because I'm not big on it. See what she does here. Probably going to clatter. I think I gave a little bit too much. Ah, she's cold. Oh, almost. I should have kept going. There she goes. Oh, you can tell. This thing ain't been started in over a month. Maybe more than that. While the door's still open, and the stove over there is getting started. I'm going to finish up my welding. All I got is a carabiner here and a piece of chain. I'm just going to weld it up here to the frame, and it'll hold the tailgate up. That way you don't have to bend down to reach and get it. Plus, you won't lose your clip. You know what holds the tailgate shut. Nothing fancy, just a couple bucks of added comfort. Flawless design, no. Is it, could there be better? Yes, there's a lot of guys that would do a lot better work than I do. Kinda quick, kinda cheap. I'm kinda happy it's good enough for me. Time to shut the front door and work on the wheel bearings.
Well, I was not expecting that. Let's try something else. I'm gonna try and save the seal, so I'm just gonna put that socket and dry that bearing out, and that way the seal won't be damaged. Ah, I got grease on my hands, there's almost so much I can do on film here. And there you go, you gotta use the right size socket so that you don't damage the bearing, but I can reuse that seal now. I know the history of this trailer, these bearings, the grease is still clean. I'm not even, there's really no reason to even do this, but I'm just going to add some grease to them. Is it coming out of there yet? Handy little tool and cheap. You guys know I like cheap. What that tool does is it packs the grease up in the bearings on the inside of the race. That's important. And then I'll just put a little on the outside. This is the quickest bearing packing known to man. I always tighten these nuts, these bearing nuts, you don't want them too tight. So what I usually do is snug them down so that they're nice and tight. That way everything's seated. Then I loosen them up. And then I just, like that, and I'm done. Usually just back it off just a little bit. You just don't want them too tight. It's not good for them to be too tight. I need to get a new cotter pin. You know, if you watch my channel, I always replace cotter pins. And then I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to wind this part of the video up because it's a pain to film with grease all over your hands. This right here, if you don't know, is a torque stick and it will tighten these lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. Can you read that? It doesn't matter. I'm, trust me. When it reaches 100 foot-pounds, it just stops turning. It'll just, it won't crank no more because of this right here. This shaft is made to spring like at a hundred uh, foot-pounds these trailer tires will take 50 psi of air trailer tires if they're real trailer tires will take more air than a car tire and that's made so they can take the load time to do a little painting but not much it's too cold to paint the whole thing but when you weld it like purifies the metal. So if that metal is purified, it rusts really quick. So I'm just going to hit all the spots that I welded. You know, all the little, just enough to keep it from rusting. And then this summer, see like spots that I grinded. And you know, this summer we'll go back and do a better paint job to it. Anyways, check out my fan up there. See, there's my stove. I got a fan angled right where the heat would go up because I still don't have insulation up in the rafters yet. Someday, someday, someday soon. I had three cans of that spray paint and you know, I'm not a big fan of spray paint at all in the cans like that, but it actually all three cans covered the whole trailer. I mean, you know, all the all the metal. So I just went over the top of just everything and got it painted for now. And when it starts rusting a little bit, we'll get it cleaned up and just paint the whole trailer. You know, this summer, like I said, it's too too cold to do a decent paint job for now, so this will have to do. I hooked it up to my truck and the lights work, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you next time.